Hey folks, got a question in here from Kyle Delaney. And he says, hey, I've been watching the channel for a few months now. After watching, I went with the Canon T6i and Rode VideoMic Pro. I also think that I will benefit from an action cam for my car-based channel. Looking at the GoPro 4 Silver and the Sony action cam, any advice on the two? And what should be my first lens? Uh, I have the 18 to 55 kit lens and I use it for video shooting cars. Please answer even in video form. I will look for it on your channel. So um, thanks for your question, Kyle. Uh, let's first address the action cams. GoPro 4 Silver and the Sony action cam. I don't have a lot of experience. Um, I, have a, I have a couple action cams, but I don't have any GoPros and I don't have the Sony. So um, I think, I'm trying to remember if I reviewed one of the Sonys a while back on loan from B&H, but I, I can't honestly remember. In any case, I'm gonna throw that out to the viewers. I'm gonna throw it out to you guys. For those of you that have the GoPro 4 uh, and the Sony action cams, can you give us some feedback? Can you give us your answer to Kyle? Um, leave it in the comments below. Let him know what you think and which way he should go and why. And let us know uh, what you have, what your experience shooting with is, and then what you would recommend. And then hopefully we can get your question regarding the action cams answered that way, Kyle. Well, hopefully we'll get some good feedback. And as far as the lenses, uh, you got the 18 to 55 lens for the T6i, which is a decent little performing lens. It's a it's a standard zoom. It's not particularly fast, but it's decent. It's fairly sharp and it performs pretty good. It's not a bad kit lens. Kit lenses aren't too bad these days. Um, I bought the 18 to 135 STM with my Canon because I just like the longer reach. I think it's a little bit better quality overall than the 18 to 55. So you might want to consider something like that. Uh, I don't know when you're shooting cars exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking for more light, I would consider something like the Sigma 17 to 50 F2.8 OS because it's quite economical. I'll put a link below. You can check it out. But you should be able to find it for you know three or four hundred dollars used, and I think it's only five or six hundred new. That gives you a constant aperture F2.8, so more light gathering ability, faster as we call it, faster aperture zoom, um, and it's a, it's a constant F2.8 right through the zoom. So you can go all the way to the 50 mil end at F2.8. So a lot more light gathering ability than the 18 to 55 kit lens. Also, it's going to give you the ability to blow out your background a little more because at F2.8, you're getting a, um, a much shallower depth of field than you would be at say F5.6 on the 18 to 55. So that's an advantage too. You may also want to consider a fast prime. Depending on what you're shooting and how you're shooting, a prime may work to your advantage. Um, I, I would look at... Um, the 50 mil f1.8 STM first off it's a very economical lens or you can ha get them for about $125 I think brand new I'll put a link below on Amazon you can check it out very sharp very fast lens blows out the background lots of light gathering ability STM lens so it's fairly quiet on the motor I have noticed I can hear the motor a little bit if I'm using onboard mics but then again if you're not using onboard mics it won't really matter to you um, or some of the other fast primes uh, maybe a 40 maybe something a little wider. Um, maybe even the Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8 if you want a nice zoom that is very fast throughout the range. A little more expensive, but uh, I'll put all those, I'll put links to all those below. You can check them all out. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is there, what lens would you recommend to Kyle? He's doing car for shooting cars, uh, videos of cars on his YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below if there's something else you would recommend, something I listed there that you think is the right choice. Let us know what you would recommend and why. Let's help Kyle out there. Thanks for your question, Kyle. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.